I'll just go through a few things. Um, one thing linking on to the next to the next as usual. This Seattle wormhole never ends. Right, so the re-release of Miracle Mile just recently is no you know, this 1988 film just suddenly on your shelves. There I, there it was. I saw it. I thought, all right, I'll check this out. There's something odd here. And, um, yeah, tons of other videos like this one. When was this one uh, made? May the 23rd. 23rd, 2017. By the Shield Channel uh, motherboard. This is a proper Shield Channel, this one. But this, they do a little bit of a, a thing on him right now why why suddenly do this now just very recently in in may may the 23rd here's the director of miracle mile right as you can see the seal of solomon he is a mega zionist freemason order of solomon right let's um Let's skip forward, and he, he's, yeah, there's a few things here, I tell you. Um, what's that, missile? Oh, yeah, go have a bit of that. Let's go on a little bit further, watch. But back when Stephen DeJarnett, writer and director of Miracle Mile, set out to write his apocalyptic thriller in 1978, the threat seemed as real as ever. I have a nice uh, little spot here with the world. Uh... And it just happens to be in Washington State. Seattle, Washington. See the hints are there. And they expect no one to put two and two together on this. But of course, <laughs> there's me. Does in. I get my own food and water. Right. You see that? He's in Washington and he's got his own food and water. Why does he mention that? It's because it's a hint. You're going to need your own food and water in Washington State soon enough whenever they conduct this Seattle false flag, this submarine missile boom followed by blackouts, definitely in Washington State for at the very least, right? And then he's got a little map of all the nuclear explosions that have ever been and he, he shows it. Um, what else? There's something else as well. Hold on a second. I'm sure they've deleted my comments, but um, 3.30ish, yeah, here we go. War is ever given. The only thing that's known for sure... You know, that that's very Mandalay Bay, isn't it? With that big uh, bit here at the top. Interesting, the old green helicopter. And the new coax is that it's America who launches the missiles first. Now you see, he insisted that America, in the movie, launches the missiles first, and it is explained that up the the studios at the time said, "No, no, come on, we can't have America looking that bad. We can't have America launching the missiles." But this guy is Steve the John, it, um, this this director, this Zionist Mason, he he insisted. That in the film, the, the Americans launch first because it is Amer an American false flag on the orders of Israel. All right, so that's very interesting. So what you got there, you got the um, seal of... Uh, hold on, I see, we might even get the missile. Hold on. Yeah, we'll get the missile here. I'm sure we will. One second, uh, just before that. Yeah, she walks past the missile. Was this a shorty? Up there. That's the one thing I haven't seen yet. Shorty. Golan. N over five. La Rasa. La Rasa, that's... Ah, oh, yeah, that's... Um, ah. Oh, my, my Spanish is not... Yeah, you can tell me. Um, and of course, uh, Miss uh, Concealed Re Reality has been going on about this. And I've seen this in the very latest series of The Last Ship, starring Mr. Grey's Anatomy Seattle himself, Eric Dane. This is in the, in the start of that series four of The Last Ship. Now watch, watch the missile here. 
While everyone around him scrambles to put together an escape plan, Harry must navigate Los Angeles in search of Julie. In recent years... Damn it, it's, it, it's in that window. It's, it, that's not the exact clip. But, but behind uh, Fat Boy, which is obviously the Nagasaki bomb here, in this window there is a white missile, a Trident missile. And there's Olympia gyros just behind here. That's Mount Olympus, Mount Olympia, um, Seattle. Not many other references to Seattle. It doesn't even need to be because it's L.A., it's West Coast. It doesn't matter whether it's L.A., San Fran, Seattle. I don't care if they do it in one of the others. I don't really don't care. It's Pacific Rim, false flag, right? Nuke, boom, followed by blackouts or even blackouts beforehand. Um, just beforehand. And blackouts are in this movie twice. You know, at the beginning of the movie, his place blacks out. And at the end, they mention EMP. And the helicopter blacks out. Everything blacks out. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you are going to say to me, oh, you know, it's just entertainment. No, it's not. It's not. Not at all. No way. Because then you'd have to say to me, oh, that all those movies um, pre-advertising 9-11, all those hundreds of movies and TV series and comics and everything dating way back to 1968, they were all just coincidence? No, no, it's predictive programming. And this is the one operation that hasn't, um, hasn't taken place yet. You almost got a Jade here, Johnny's, but Jade... Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, this one hasn't happened yet, and you can see the predictive programming for it right now. So you've got a movie with nuclear... Well, it is a nuclear explosion West Coast movie with blackouts. And then you've got all the other movies that say the same thing. Exactly the same thing. 1941, a Seattle reference... A Seattle blackout reference, in fact, with a Oriental submarine shooting down a Ferris wheel, like there is one, a Ferris Ra wheel in the Puget Sound there. Blackouts, let's black out these lights, says Dan Aykroyd many times. Blackout, submarine, missile, torpedo, etc. West Coast City, 1941. All the Spielberg movies, huh? All of them. Now the date, I still don't know the date. It could be today. It could be 8.15 in the morning today. We'll see. It could be tomorrow. It could be the 7th of December. It could be the 13th of December. It could be the 23rd of December. It could be the 31st of December. They all fit. They all fit. They can pick and choose whatever date they want. As long as it's got a three in it somehow, it'll, it'll be fine for them. It's a lot of dates like that. So, who knows? Today, tomorrow, any number of days uh, in December. Don't know. Don't care. I know that the operation has to be conducted. If you go back 50 years plus, right, and, and you put yourself in the... You've got, when you investigate someone, you've got to put yourself in their shoes, in their head, and think how they, they would think. Right? 9-11... Orlando Pulse, and then the West Coast, the Westgate hit to Hiram Abiff. Temple of Solomon legend, of course, it's all about Solomon. What would you plan if you wanted to create as much chaos as possible, as much fear as possible? There's two things you would do. You would use the sum of all fake fears, the nuke. And then you would also, well, switch the power off of the power stations. They're your power stations after all. You can just switch the power off and blame it on the nuke or nukes. Blame it on North Korea. Blame it on Iran. Blame it on anyone you want. doesn't matter. But that's the two things you would do. Because switching the lights off in the winter in America, ooh, ooh, you know, a long revolution series Blackout, huh? Wow, that would create chaos. And just before that, 
you got the big boom and the Zionist media going crazy saying, oh, it's a nuke, it's a nuke. And you've got the emergency alert system going wee, 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 wee. And the alarm sounding Whoa, everywhere. The, you know, that Second World War alarm sound, that blitz sound. Oh, that's an eerie sound, that is. Oh, that would creep you out. Imagine putting that out over all the speakers in all the cities. The Americans are being filled full of fear with, with the Zionist media. Oh, they're just primed for it right now. Can you imagine? So, that's my thought process on this. I mean, it makes sense that, that a nuke hoax followed by extended blackouts in America, that would, that would do it. That would create the fear and it would create the chaos, which is what they want. And they seem to want a second... American Civil War for some reason. The, the hints on that are all over the place as well, along with this. Um, just, just so much saying exactly the same thing. And this is my point. All these predictive programming movies that are predictively programming a West Coast false flag, they are all saying the same things over and over and over. They're all saying blackout. Almost all of them are saying nuke. Yeah? I'll do another video on this Grey's link as well. Grey's Anatomy link to Seattle. Because it, it gets 50 shades darker.